Hi, I'm Kirk Scalgan, Vice President and General Manager of Intel's Data Center Group. Hi, I'm David Lawler, Vice President of Product Management for Cisco's Unified Computing Systems Group. We're here today at the Intel Xeon 7500 launch in San Francisco talking about the biggest leap that Intel has had in Xeon's history, really since the introduction of the Pentium Pro in 1995. So, David, it's a great time to have uh, Cisco entering the expandable market segment. Absolutely. I mean, Kurt, you, you guys have made it absolutely easy for us. I mean, if you look at everything you guys have done from uh, EP, Nehalem EP last year mm -hmm. uh, with the 5500 series and recent 5600 uh, series Westmere upgrade to that, and now with the 7500 series, and it's absolutely as uh, astounding levels of performance you've been able to bring to it. Uh, for us, it's actually made, made, enabled us to build out a complete portfolio of offerings, uh, both two socket, two socket expanded memories, you know, but also now with, we're at, with the uh, new 7500 series, uh, four socket offerings within the unified computing system family. Mm -hmm. right? And so it's actually allowed us to build out that portfolio, um, start from a focus originally on virtualization, and now expand that workload capability, not just to virtualization, but to larger sets of data, you know, data sets, um, mm -hmm. both you know, EDA type environments, enterprise applications such as database, Java applications, even into your large classically risk architecture uh, workloads. Yeah, so I think if you look at the vision we have for the Intel Xeon 7500 today, it's really to bring mission critical computing to the mainstream and democratize high end computing. Cisco's in a unique position because you don't have a risk processor heritage in the server space. Uh, what, do, what does that mean to you? You know, it, it actually gives us a lot of freedom. We can actually go talk, to, go talk to customers about what matters to customers. We're not, you know, we're not going to trade off that. Well, we don't really want to talk to you about some of the capabilities of EX here because that might impact some of our other revenues we've got coming from our proprietary risk offerings. Um, we're talking about to customers about the customer problems they've had, the complete capabilities that uh, the Intel offerings bring to the table, uh, and then augmenting that with our own innovations in the area of I/O and expanded memory that allow customers to fully utilize the capabilities that you've come up with, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and one of these is you know you talk about it and, and you, you've enabled uh, a lot of companies to come in and offer a two-socket EX offering, uh, which is quite interesting. At the same time, we've had two-socket EP that have already covered that same space, yet we can actually do it with lower latency for the memory. Um, higher performance for the memory, right, and then higher overall performance from a super pure, pure core, uh, core core basis because we're using the EP, and then lower cost for the customers, mm -hmm. right. So that's that combination of innovation that you've actually enabled uh, working with us, but also you know not having this this for lack of a better term, baggage of mm -hmm. having a risk background and, and saying, okay, well, this is how it's done. We actually have had a clean slate and say, how should it be done with the technologies that Intel's coming up with, technologies that we're bringing to the table, and then looking at it in the combination of effectively computing and networking together, and we actually call that unified computing. And that's where actually we see the customers getting very excited about. Well, as we said, we're kind of joined at the chip, and the yes. companies work very well together because of the innovation that right. uh, drives both of our companies and has for uh, for a long time. You know, I think we're right at this interesting inflection point today because we're seeing cloud computing. Our view uh, being that we'll have a billion virtual machines in the cloud. Uh, you're delivering with the unified computing system uh, a, a platform for a private cloud. We're seeing 650 percent data growth over the next five years, and really an explosion uh, in high performance computing as well. So it's an interesting time to be partnering and. Really Really appreciate the collaboration. Absolutely. Absolutely, Kirk. It's been a pleasure, and look forward to uh, you know a long collaboration going forward. Thanks. Right, thank you.